when you decide you want to try to play without translations on your tiles in Mahjong time, you choose tournament style. So as you can see, there's no translations on the tiles. However, it also removes any Roman numerals from the flower tiles. So you can see that there's usually like a one, two, three, or four um, in different colors on the tiles and they're missing. So that might make it difficult for you to assess what flower tiles you have in front of you. So what you do is you hover your cursor over top and it's going to tell you what it is. So this one here is spring. Spring is the number one season. So that is corresponding to the east wind and seat wind, or sorry, seat number one. So I am seat number one because I'm the east wind here. This is seat number two, south wind, as you can see. This is west wind. He is seat three. This is north wind. He is seat four. So spring is mine. So this is season one, my tile. So this is chrysanthemum. So the flowers go in order by plum being number one, orchid being number two, chrysanthemum being number three, and bamboo being number four. So this is flower number three. Here we have bamboo, and that's flower number four, which corresponds to the north wind. This is orchid, so that's flower number two, which corresponds to the south wind. So he has his flower. And this is season number four, winter, which corresponds to the north wind. This is plum, so that's flower one, which would be my flower. This is summer, so that's season two, which corresponds to the south wind. And this is autumn, so that's season number three, which corresponds to the west wind. So this might be confusing for us to say, like the bamboo is over here and it corresponds to the north wind. So what you want to do when you have flower tiles is you're paying attention to what you have in front of you and you're looking to correspond your flower or season with your seat number. So if either of these are equal to a one, because I'm in the seat one, then that would be one point for me, one fawn. So this is going to start to make sense when you get into the scoring chapters. And when you get into playing defensively, you'll start to like look at what other people have for flowers and know that either they have points in their hand already without even putting anything down, they'll have a point in their hand. So we said that player number two, Southwind, has Orchid. So that means he already has one fawn. So he's already got one fawn in his hand, which gives him some points.